Over the last few months, things have been changing in the world of American politics quite dramatically. It all started back in November of last year, when the Democrats won the midterm elections of 2018 and finally took back control of the House of Representatives from the Republican Party, allowing the great Nancy Pelosi to become Speaker of the House and finally paving the way for an efficient check to the power of President Donald Trump. Already, they are causing unimaginable problems for the White House and the GOP government. The President of the United States and leader of the free world was forced to trigger the longest government shutdown in the entire history of the United States in a desperate attempt to pass his signature campaign pledge as policy, the Mexican border wall, and even then he failed. These senior Democrats like Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer are not willing to stand for any nonsense from the Republicans, and it is showing already. Another effect of the blue wave that led to the Democratic resurgence in Congress late last year is the intake of young, exciting new members of Congress who bring with them radical agendas and thrilling new energy to affect real political change. An excellent example of this is Rep. Ilhan Omar, who, as we here at Blue Side Nation recently reported, did a phenomenal job of grilling Trump's latest unqualified nominee and exposing him for his flaws. But perhaps the very best known of the new members is Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez who has ignited an almighty online campaign in her support and who threatens to shake up all of the political norms as we know them with her very exciting new economic proposal, called the Green New Deal. Branded as the reinstatement of true, environmental and fair and just socialism that America wants and needs, it is essentially the capitalist Republicans' worst nightmare. However, astonishingly, hardline Republican Sen. Mitch McConnell, who is Senate Majority Leader, has now announced that he will be allowing a vote on the Green New Deal because, simply, he has been backed into a corner and has no choice at this point. This represents a truly remarkable achievement on the part of the new incoming Democrats. They have really only just arrived on Capitol Hill and already they are pushing people around and getting their way, getting their radical agenda on the table for proper debate and real potential progress.